axillary nerve injury, shoulder dislocation. The axillary nerve is the most commonly injured nerve from shoulder dislocation. It occurs in about 5% of shoulder dislocations. After a shoulder dislocation, the patient will be unable to abduct the shoulder and the deltoid will have no muscle tone. The supraspinatus will be firing. And you will have decreased sensation or absence of sensation on the lateral shoulder. If the patient is older, you can attribute inability to abduct the shoulder to a rotator cuff tear, which is common in that age group with shoulder dislocation. That can be a confusing scenario. So you got to rule out a cuff tear and you got to examine the sensation of the shoulder. There's another scenario when the intact cuff muscle may abduct the shoulder and may confuse the examiner. So check the sensation over the skin of the shoulder. It doesn't matter if the cuff is intact or it is torn, the sensation on the lateral shoulder will tell you if there's an axial nerve palsy or not. And the injury of the axial nerve varies from neuropraxia to complete tear of the nerve. The axillary nerve passes through the quadrilateral space. The quadrangular space boundaries are the teres minor superiorly, the teres major inferiorly, the humerus laterally and the long head of the triceps medially. The axillary nerve passes with the posterior humeral circumflex. This artery is important because some people believe this artery is the main blood supply to the humeral head. The axillary nerve have two branches, an anterior one, which will supply the anterior and middle part of the deltoid. And the posterior branch which supplies the teres minor and the posterior part of the deltoid in addition to the skin over the shoulder. The anterior branch is located 5 to 7 cm distal to the lateral edge of the acromion. So do not exceed deltoid splitting approach more than 5 cm below the acromion. Otherwise, you risk injury to the axillary nerve. During surgery, abduction and external rotation moves the nerve away from the surgical field. So what do you do when the nerve is injured? You give the patient a sling for comfort. You give the patient physiotherapy. Follow the progress of the patient clinically. Usually, the nerve recovers. You will get EMG and nerve studies. At three to four weeks, you will see the biphasic waves if the nerve recovers. However, if the nerve doesn't recover, you will get fibrillation potential and P waves. Failure to abduct the shoulder after four to six months despite physiotherapy, then the condition is permanent and the patient may not achieve abduction of the shoulder without recovery of the deltoid. Since the intact rotator cuff muscle failed to abduct the shoulder and to take over the job of the deltoid, then this condition is permanent. Then you got two options, exploration of the nerve for release, repair, or reconstruction of the nerve. You reconstruct it by a nerve graft. Or you do tendon transfer, 
the transfer of the trapezius to the proximal humerus, and the result of the transfer is usually poor. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.